in Luke chapter 10, verse 33 says this, when he saw him, he had compassion. You know, many dictionaries define compassion as sympathy or pity or concern, an all-out emotional kind of response. But the compassion of Jesus transcends emotion and it translates into action. You see, a Christ-like compassion looks like this. First, it recognizes the needs of others. In fact, the scripture says, Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit, but in lowliness of mind let each esteem others better than himself. Let each of you look not out only for your own interests, but also for the interest of others. Did you catch the phrase, better than himself? And then look around you and at the people in your life and say to yourself, better than myself. You tend to be self-centered, and so it will take a while for this concept to really seek in. Note also the word, look out for the interest of others. Sometimes those others are badly messed up and not easy to love. For example, uh, example how about people in prison? You say, well, they, they got what they deserved. Well, maybe, but did you always get what you deserved or did you just not get caught? Think about it. When you visit someone who's sick or in prison, Jesus said it's like doing it to him. In Luke chapter 23 and verse 43, he showed compassion to a convicted criminal on the cross and saved him. So you shouldn't pick and choose to whom you'll show compassion. The Bible says to him who is afflicted, kindness should be shown by his friend, even though he forsakes the fear of the Almighty. You know, Mother Teresa prayed, grant that even if you are hidden under the unattractive disguise of anger, crime, or madness, that I may recognize you and say, Jesus, you who suffer, how sweet it is to serve you. Why don't you ask God to help you look at others and where they are and then show compassion to them, not about what they've done, just show the kind of compassion that Jesus Christ has shown to you in saving you. And who knows, it may lead to their salvation. I'm Ray Jones, and that's another hard truth for your day.